Let's talk about external style sheets now. <clears throat> I've gone ahead and created a external style sheet, which is nothing more than another text document that I created in Text Wrangler. And let's take a look at the text. We started out with a style tag, and I said that the type is equal to, quote, text slash CSS, end quote. I typed that just as if it was a tag that I was going to put into a web page. And then I came in just like I was doing an internal style sheet and started to associate style attributes with HTML elements. The first one was body. I said that the background color of the body should be beige. The next one I did was heading one. I said the color of all heading ones should be red. And then I did the paragraph. I said all paragraphs should be blue and the font size should be 20 pixels high. Okay. So there's my style sheet. I then came in to my king page and I added this reference to my external style sheet. Now the first line there is a comment, so I'll unhighlight it. The second one is a line that does something. We have a link and our relationship to the file we're linking to is that it is a style sheet. The type of file is text slash CSS. And the href is the name of my style sheet, which I call mystyle.css. Okay, so that's all a link tag, and it's an empty tag, so we had to close it at the end. Okay? Now, let's minimize this for a minute. Let's open up our course projects, and this is what we get. And every page that has that reference would get that same look and feel. Now, what about our FDR page. Well, I added some extra things there just to prove a point. So when I open that up, the background is pink and the first paragraph is red and the rest of the paragraphs are dark green. Well, let me show you the code. Here's our FDR page. Now I started out with exactly the same reference to an external style sheet. And if we don't specify anything different, that will be the active style for this page. But then I also have my internal style sheet. The internal style sheet overrides the external settings. And so even though I set the background color to beige in my external settings. Here I'm setting it, I'm overriding it with a color pink. And even though I'm setting my text color to blue in my external style sheet, again I'm overriding it here to dark green. Now I also changed the first paragraph, inline style, back to be red. So the first paragraph is red because of this style. I click over and show it to you again. There it is. First paragraph is red. If I want it to be the same color as the rest of the text, all I've got to do is come in here, delete the style, save it out, and then refresh my page. And now they're all great.
Now, I don't have any inline styles overriding either of my external or internal style sheets. But my internal style sheet is still overriding the text color. But if I remove this line, P color equals dark green, if I just take that out and save again and refresh, I have my blue text, which doesn't look very good on a pink background. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just get rid of our internal style sheet. And we'll save again. And now they're both compliant. So that's how the external style sheet works. It's a very useful tool and I hope you use it on your websites.